Welcome back to Home Lab Networks, my name is AJ and this video is a tutorial on how to install Home Assistant on your server. So first go to the Home Assistant page and download the ISO file we need, then log into your server and from here we're going to create a virtual machine but we don't want to add the media. The machine needs to be Q35 by BIOS UEFI, then storage, and then your local storage should be fine and change it if you need to. Cause change it to 2, default 2 gigabyte of memory is fine. Then we, we need to extract the ISO file, also it's a QCIW2 file we, we need, need to extract the media from. Then go back to Proxmox and then we need to open up WinSCP and then we need to transfer that file onto the root system of Proxmox and then we can add the media file as an unused disk and then we can install the disk from there. Then go, go to the shell and type in qm input disk space vm id forward slash root for forward slash the file name of the extracted file we just copied and then make sure it matches the exact same file name you just extracted and then dot q c i w two space local space dash dash format q c i w two press enter and it will do its thing. And now, go back to hardware. Delete hard disk 0, and then unused disk 1, remove, and then we'll add the unused disk 0 for our operating system. Now we need to change the boot order, put number 3 to number 1, is number 1. will happen because it's in secure boot which we need to turn off to boot into home assistant and then just reset your, your machine. Once it's loaded up go to the IP address it provides, make an account, sign in and then it should pick up your devices by default and then you can add devices and have a play around with it. Thank you for watching the video. This is a quick simple tutorial very easy to do and have fun doing it. Thank you for all the recent support and views and subscribers and I'll see you in the next video.